was set for the second of the semi-final matches here in Cape Coast. It is league champions Hatsabok against former FA Cup winners Mediama Sporting Club. My name is Nana Dakwa Jesse and I'm here with Astrim Sichofe. For this second game, these two teams have a lot of scores to settle. They met in the Premier League, Mediama beat Hatsabok 1-0 in Takwa. Hatsabok got a perfect revenge over them in Accra. And in those two games, one man was on the winning side and it is Samuel Buedu. Hatsabok Mediama. Samuel Buedu, halfway through the season, left Mediama for Hatsabok and won. Hatsabok the league. A dream for Mediama which he took away from them with his move to the capital, Accra. Again, Mediama have aspirations of going to Africa and this could be the ticket. This could be the competition where when they win it, they are into Africa again. So there's plenty that hangs on this one. It's a big one at Mediama. And they're coming onto the pitch in similar style like it did come in that Super 2 clash against Asante Kotoko with those flowers yeah. and all. Interesting to find out the story behind those flowers, but for Hatsabok, they are parading a lineup that does not have their talisman. The man who has done all the difference, Salifu Ibrahim, his place taken by Isaac Mensah, then a starting place for Patrick Razak. Yeah. And Kaleba Mankwa keeps his place in that midfield. Absolutely. He played well against the, in the game against Sharks. Mediama Sporting Club. Familiar faces. Tete Zuta returns to the team to captain them after missing out of last weekend's win over Atram Divisa. Yao Preku, former player of Hatsabok, former assistant coach of Hatsabok has the responsibility of leading Mediama past the Phobians. Yao Bless gets set underway in his unsupported bowling headed down by Sulemana. Kojua Samwa, he makes up. Ameture stays onside, Jerry's Ameture. Some good defensive work done by as he used to be, but his run is intelligent. Once he gets there, knows that he's onside, but he can't quiet, get the ball in an angle where he can open himself and kill it. So the ball is being worked against him. The angle is being worked against him once the ball is going on to his left. The shot is deflected and easy pickings for the goalkeeper. Raksas corner. Frank Watson makes a save. That would have been a goal for the Phobians. And Saboche switches beautifully to Fatal Mohammed. Now Isaac Mensah sends a cross in. Afutu! Benjamin Afutu! The cross from Mensah, the header from Afutu, and Asaboka up by 1-0. A ball on his head. That is Asaboche who spreads the ball to the far side. And Isaac Mensah makes a very intelligent run into the space that has been vacated. And look at him, he just stands the ball up, hoping that it's a Futu's arriving. And boy, he arrived. That is a world class header. Just guys the ball into the side of the net where the goalkeeper can't reach it. It's such a brilliant header by Afutu, it really is. But if there's one man in this side of the side that you want the ball to fall on his head, then the name is Benjamin Afutu. Mensah was relentless. The cross was pinpoint. The header was exquisite. And goalkeeper. Frank Watson beat him and some more. Tracking Afutu's run and getting into the box when he's going there. It's Isaac Mansai again, this time. Ali Watara is first to Fatal's driving. Watson will not be beaten this time. Yeah. That's the earlier incident there. Fatal looking for a shot across, hoping that Gokipa is going to spill it or somebody's going to get it. Lovely ball, Daniel Barnier. Brave goalkeeping from his starting position is really good. Isaac Mensah's through ball to Bani is a good one as well. But it's on hand, keeps his eye on the ball firmly. 
makes the catch. Banya is just trying to pin it off him and see where the ball goes. Mediama nil. Here is Koja Samoa for Mediama. Goes past Radio Vuka. He's got Kwakwa on his right. He finds Kwakwa. Kwakwa sends the cross straight to Richard Atai. He makes light work. Yeah, the ball is coming. The cross is coming, but it's too close to him. Just too close. He's a commanding goalkeeper. He's got a physicality. Boy to find Suleimana. Here is Suleimana. Ameture tried to play the one-two with Suleimana, but you want to give credit to Fatal for yeah. going in. Oh, but this touch from Suleimana was heavy. But nobody was confronting him because that's the folks' defense kept backing off. But Fatal didn't want to recover and get on the right side of Suleimana to get the contact. Much yeah. disappointment of Prince of Poco Ajiman. Yeah. yeah. What a first time we witnessed. It's been empty. They are playing up. It appears they are forcing, forcing the issues too much. How to could do with more of the same. Second half underway. Good ball to Suleimana. But Patrick Razak was just right behind him. Good skill from Ansaboche. Goalkeeper Frank Watson makes a mess of it. And that's the second goal for Arsabot. Isaac Mensah makes it two for the Phobians. Be cute about it. You know, but credit to Arsabotche with the work he did here once the ball got to him. Look at the spin around his man. Lovely stuff. Kept the boy in play. And played the boy into the space there. But the goalkeeper is first the ball. This goes down the laces. But just not saying that he's not at fault. But the ball took a very awkward bounce. And once the ball hit the pitch, take a look at the movements of the ball. The ball hit the pitch and just moves quickly past him. But if he's going to put his laces through it, I think he approached the ball. He's, he's approached the ball is a lot better. But he's looking at testing the ball and controlling the ball. And it's what makes the mistake for Midia Samoa. Samoa Samoa Lapia. Koja Samoa wants to go for shot. Not there, you see. Ovuka here is taken out of the picture there. And then the strike comes in, they takes a bounce. Now Radio Ovuka will search forward. Lovely play from Ovuka. A photo. Daniel Barnier goes around the goalkeeper. It's a penalty. I thought the foot is passed to begin with, it was a heavy one. But Barnier has got pace in his legs to best. He makes make the first contact, then Boatin catches him. It's, 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 uh, it's disappointing here, yeah, but it's a penalty. Boatin doesn't get anything on the ball, does he? No, I don't think so. And there you see it, he catches Banier. Referee whistles. Banier steps forward. And Banier misses. But the referee says the goalkeeper will pass. We see it clear from yet. From Boatin. Yeah, step yeah, off his line. Yeah, he, he moved, moved from his line and it he is. Moved off his line. He moved off his line and it is it is the right call. It, it is the right call. It is the right call. I think he moved off his Against Frank Boatin. And Barney has scores this time. No questions about it. It's 3-0 for Hatsabok. Yeah, Barney makes amends this time. Sends the keeper the wrong way and plants the ball into the back of the net. They are confidently taken. And Midiama, capitulation for them here in, in the way the second half has gone. You have to keep your heads, Midiama. For to focus 3 0 and very much final bound. He's deserved it. You know, I remember back in 2020, it was a game in Obwasi between Ashgold and Chelsea, and Midiama's Ameture. Unlike Amaturi, yeah. he doesn't miss glorious begging chances uh, like it's this. It's a brilliant ball into him, isn't it? But Turek just perhaps takes his eye off the boy a little bit. Contact is really poor. But all of this sums up, just sums up. But for this game, it's settled and it's over now. Isaac Mensah, Daniel Afriya Barnier, their goals have powered half the book to the finals of the MTNFA Cup. Full time in Kepkos. Half the book three. Mediamo Neo.